Moving on down the main toolbar, the next button I want to talk about is the Open Content Browser button. If you click on this, it brings up the Content Browser. Very straightforward. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about what the Content Browser does. Really, it warrants its own videos. There's all sorts of cool things you can do here inside the Content Browser, but in short, this is where you're going to get any exterior assets to place in your level. Things like static meshes, particle systems, materials, anything that's not already a coded part of the interface is all accessible right here inside the content browser. And there's a lot of really cool functionality in here. As you build your levels, you'll be using this a lot. So you'll probably reach up here and click on this open content browser button a lot. Now, next to this, we have the open Unreal Kismet button. Clicking on this will open up the Kismet editor. And Kismet is simply a visual scripting system that is a part of Unreal Engine 3. It allows artists, people who are not frequently sitting down and creating programs, to create their own game scripts to control in-game actions. You can designate certain events, such as when the level loads, or when a player hits a trigger, a variety of different things, and you can have actions take place in response to those events. Now, Kismet is also one of those topics that really warrants its entire uh, set of videos, so I'm not going to talk too much more about it here. Just to show you that by clicking on the Unreal Kismet button here inside our main toolbar, we can open up the editor. Next, we have the Open Unreal Matinee button. Now, this is going to work differently depending on how many, if any at all, matinee sequences you have in your level. If you have no matinee sequences, this button won't do anything. If you have one, this will automatically open up the one matinee se uh, sequence that you have. If you have several, as we do here inside of VCTF Sandstorm, it'll give you a drop down of all of the different matinee sequences available. You can choose one, and it'll open up the matinee for that sequence. Now I'll go ahead and close this. And the last thing I want to talk about is our distance to far clipping plane slider. Now to really show this off, I'm going to maximize the viewport. Now, I'm in game mode, so things look really nice right now. And what I'm going to do is just take that slider and start to slide it back off to the left. And take a look out there in the distance. There's kind of this wall that is moving forward, devouring everything in the distance as it gets closer. This is just a way for you to cut off anything kind of beyond a certain distance. It can help in performance, and it can help and kind of get rid of distractions. For instance, if we know we kind of want to work right here in this general area, and everything taking place out there in the distance is just a distraction, then we can pull our clipping plane back a little bit to just focus on this area. Or if we want to see more, we can slide the clipping plane away. So it's just a way to cut off anything that's really far away from the camera. So it's a quick look at the next few buttons. Again, we've got the Open Content Browser, Open Unreal Kismet, Open Matinee, as well as the Clipping Plane Slider. This is, this is, this is, this is.